today we're going to be commiserating over the chaotic nature of being a filmmaker and having too much stuff. Having all of the necessary accoutrement to make the video or the film or the project that you need to make. Anytime I try to go make a video, I gotta set up the lights, cameras, the tripod, make sure the audio is dialed in. It takes a long time. So uh, I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to find a spot that I could set up a semi-permanent little studio space so that I could sit right down. The lights are mounted, nothing on the floor. It's clean, it's open, it's simple, and I think I've done it. What you're looking at right here is our upstairs office. We have a little walk-in closet, and I made it a project over a couple days period. I cleared the closet out, I mounted lights on the ceiling, and I set this up as a studio space so that every day uh, I could sit down, start recording a video, and just start cranking them out. So that's what this is, and I'm gonna show you how I did it. By the way, I'm Kevin Toomey. I am a freelance television producer working in Los Angeles. I have a video idea sketched out for every day from now up until Christmas. If you are interested in checking out these videos uh, about being a creative person, about working in the television industry, documentaries about life and weird stuff, click subscribe or share this video with someone who is into this kind of stuff. So the process to create this little closet studio space began last weekend. And it began with clearing all of the crap out of this closet. All right, we're here in the upstairs office and behind me is the closet. We have big plans for this closet. So as you can tell, it's full of stuff. Now I know you're wondering, where did all that crap go? Well, most of it just got relocated to another crap area, to put it simply. Uh, some of it we're gonna donate, some of it I got to sell still. But now, this crap area is free. Phase one is complete, we cleared uh, a bunch of space out. I took down the shelving in the closet here and all the dowel rods. We have our first baby plate mounted, and now what we're gonna do next is um, put a little C-stand arm on here, and then install the light. The main light, the key light, is this LED light panel, which is mounted on the ceiling. After I mounted the light up onto the ceiling, I sort of got it into the position that I knew it needed to be, and then I went to town and uh, got to work on cable organizations. And of course these big lights, they have big control boxes. So I was able to get a little V-mount plate and mount the actual control box on the wall. And that is like a thing of beauty. After having all of my lights just sort of thrown around and having to pick them up and move them and the cables get all tangled, it's nice to finally have everything mounted on the wall and organized really nice. And then behind me is a hair light, it's a second light. That one is the Aperture MC light, and you can kind of see that it's hitting sort of the side of my head. Behind me is the seamless backdrop on a tension rod. That's what that is, that's it, very simple. And I am sitting on a stool that I got on Amazon for $40, and I'm two, about two feet away from the seamless backdrop, and I do have it marked. And of course, let's talk about audio. First of all, I, I mounted these little acoustic panels that I got on Amazon. I just mounted them onto this wall. It's just up there with some with some Velcro that I glued onto the back of the, the panels. I chose to try to have all of my audio running directly into the camera as opposed to ex recording it externally, just for many different reasons. Um, I have two mics in here. I have a lapel mic on. It's mounted onto my chest, the first road go mic with the lavalier that Rode sells. I put some mole skin on the back and on the front I put one of those little uh, dead cat overcoat covers and I used, this is a little, a little hack, I used some men's grooming tape. It's called Top Stick. I think it's for like toupees and hair pieces. Um, it's double sided tape, it's super strong, you can stick it right to your chest uh, and it holds the mic right here, right in place. It's right below my shirt. And then I have the shotgun mic. And the shotgun mic is literally only for backup because I'm not monitoring the audio. If something ever happens to my lapel mic, I'll have the shotgun as a backup. So the camera is recording two tracks of audio. One is the shotgun mic and one is my lapel mic. When I open this in Premiere to edit it, select modify audio channels. Instead of having it be one stereo track, I adjust it to be two mono tracks. I drop it on a timeline, and then I choose which track sounds the best. This is 
hopefully the lav mic, because this one sounds better. This is what the shotgun mic sounds like. And finally, for camera, I'm using my Canon EOS R. And on the camera, I have an EF 24 to 70 lens. There we go. So far, I think this setup is really working. Let's do this. December, a video every day in the closet for the studio space. What do you think? We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.